Five years after the COVID pandemic, scientists are still learning about the long and short term health consequences of the virus. A new study finds that children born to mothers infected with COVID during pregnancy have an elevated risk of autism and other developmental disorders. Dr. Celine Gounder is here to explain. So Celine, let's take us through this here. What exactly did the study find? So this was a large study looking at eight, over 18,000 pregnant women and their babies who were born during the pandemic before vaccines were widely available. And researchers found that Babies whose mothers had COVID during pregnancy were slightly more likely to be diagnosed with devel developmental issues by the age of three. Now, it's important to note that those developmental issues range from mild, so say a short-term lisp, to severe, so perhaps severe autism. This study does not prove cause and effect. Other factors could play a role, but it still fits in with a long line of research showing that infections and inflammation during pregnancy can affect how a baby's brain develops. How does that work? How does an infection affect the way baby's, baby's brain develops? Right, so when a woman um, gets an infection like COVID, her immune system revs up, and the inflammatory signals that are part of the immune system can cross the placenta and reach the baby. And that can actually change how the brain is developing. So during the process of brain development, you have synapses being made, also synapses being pruned, kind of like pruning the hedges mm -hmm. to form something. And the immune system helps to prune those synapses. With vaccination, in contrast, um, you have a much milder immune response and it's more short term. And so it doesn't seem to interfere with that pruning process. So for someone who's pregnant today, what's the takeaway? Well, look, there's been a lot of confusion and misinformation since 2021 about whether it's safe to get vaccinated for COVID in pregnancy. The message is not only safe, it is recommended by the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology to protect mom and baby. So important. Got it. Thanks so much, Celine.